Hi, how you doing today, folks? Uh, my name is Derek Trent. I will be doing a PowerPoint presentation on music theory and mathematics and how it correlates together. Uh, as you may already know, music is not only a beautiful form of art, but it's also deeply rooted as mathematics. From the intervals between notes to rhythms that drive our favorite songs, mathematics plays a foundational role in how we create and appreciate music. Uh, but how exactly do we uh, do these two subjects come together, right? Uh, how can mathematical concepts help us better understand the nuisance of music theories? Well, in this presentation, uh, I will be delving into these questions and many more. So uh, sit back, relax, and get ready to see music in a whole new light through the lens of uh, mathematics. So these are the few outlines that I will be talking about that correlates uh, with music theory and mathematics. One, pitch. Two, musical alphabet. Three, music staff. Four, whole and half steps. Five, accidentals. Six, treble clef. Seven, bass clef. And eight, Pythagorean system. So before we jump right into the outline of bullet points, we got to first describe what is music theory. Well, musical theory examines the fundamentals of music. It also provides a system to interpret musical compositions. For example, basic music theory defines the elements that form harmony, melody, and rhythm. Music theory is frequently concerned with describing how musicians and composers make music, including tuning systems and composition methods, among other topics. Music is created and different from other cultures and languages and makes a big impact on how mathematics is used in its creation. M music pitch. Music pitch is the pitch of a note. It is described by how long and high the note can be. High pitches are located on the right side of the piano and low pitches are located on the left side. Pitches ranges can be preferred in terms of human singing voices. For example, one, soprano a high woman voice, two, alto, a low woman voice, three, tenure, a high man voice, and four, bass, a low man's voice. A standard pitch is note A, 440. The note A above middle class C has a frequency of 440 hertz cycle per second. So as you see in the example on the right hand side, uh, it is an example of a piano. And as you see in the top, it says towards the left, is lower frequency which is lower pitches on the right there's higher frequencies which is higher pitches and right in the middle as you see where it says a4 which is a means note a and 440 hertz mean the sound of the voice in the cycles per second that the frequency goes musical alphabet well which is something we already know right a b c d e f g and keep on going so on well each culture has a different musical alphabet but in this case we're going to talk more about western culture so the letters of the musical alphabet can vary different from where music culture is located however in western music we name the different pitches of notes by the first seven letters of the alphabet a b c d e f and g each line and space on the staff represents a different letter and different pitch. A keyboard the piano has groups of two black notes, followed by a group of three black notes. So as you see on the right hand side, you can see that on the bottom is where the alphabet is, where each musical alphabet in the Western culture way is uh, represented. So this help uh, composers and help musicians uh, understand the musical alphabet and where they need to uh, use the key to make a specific sound. As you remember in the last slide, uh, the lower, as you go left, which is a lower frequency, uh, you will have a low pitch. As you go right, you will have a higher pitch. Uh, you see a representation of multiple letters, but different pitches. Tones and semitones. Well, the half step tone, a semitone, is the smallest pitch that is used in a Western style of music. 
On the piano, a half step is the music interval from any one key to its closest neighbor, either a black or white keys. A half step occur naturally between the two white keys pairs E through F and B through C. The two consecutive half steps are called whole step tones, which is just called a tone. As you can see, an example of top right, uh, that is an example of Western music style uh, with a semitone, aka half step tone. Uh, and if you get the picture on the bottom, that is an example of Western style of music with a whole step tone. Uh, e and F, B and C are two white keys pairs, uh, which that will be a half step. Accidentals. This is something that, you know, we all have seen when we look at music notes and, you know, we always say, what is that? Or what does that symbol mean? Well, this is what it means. Accidentals are symbols that changes the pitch of a note. There are three types of accidentals in music. One is sharp, looks like a hashtag symbol, and it raises the note pitch by like half a step. You got flats, looks like a lowercase b, but it lowers a half note by half. Usually negative one half and you got naturals the symbol looks like a box with lines coming from the top and bottom this note cancels a previous accident note that was used in the music note so as you can see on the example on the right uh, the top is the three symbols well on the left of it it is a sharp which looks like a hashtag. And then in the middle, that is a natural. And then in the end, that is a flat, which, you know, like I said, the flesh looks like a lowercase b, and the natural looks like a box. It's going in and out. Uh, on the bottom is a great example of how those accidentals are used in music notes and how they're placed. Uh, it also explains that uh, when you use a lowercase b, it's through the line. Uh, then you got in the middle of the space next to a note above or below a staff. Then you got an example on the right of that that shows the incorrect way of placing these accidentals that can confuse a musician when trying to uh, play the sound in a note. A triple clef. A triple clef is a clef placed in G above the middle C on the second lowest line of the staff. As you can see on the top right, that is an example of a music staff, but it has a treble clef with it, as you see with the letters on each line. A modern staff is made up of five lines and four spaces. Each line represents each pitch of sound. However, at the beginning of each staff, there is a symbol that represents each pitch on the five lines. The curly symbol sets the medium to high pitch sounds. Reading each symbol will help the musician ready and play. Also, treble clef will determine how different instruments will play for the sound. So, for example, violins, flutes, trumpets, and pianos use treble clef symbols to help determine what kind of sound and pitch is needed for the music. Uh, a great example that uh, I was able to find that uh, most musicians help to have that in order, every good boy does fine. Uh, as you can see on the top right, even the, uh, 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 in the bottom right also too is, you see how it's formed, E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. This right here helps them remember the lines very correctly. Um, and then on the, on the right bottom, it's the same format, a little different, but we do have one that says face, which is another different algorithm. Bass clef. A bass clef is called the F clef symbol located the line that represents the F below middle C. The symbol of the bass clef is an F, and many different cultures have similar symbols that represent the letter F. The bass clef is a musical clef that is used to help the musician play low pitch sounds, and only a certain amount of instruments that play this sound. So, for example, with double basses, tubas, uh, bassoons, and the left hand of the piano. Uh, as you see on the top right, uh, you can see where the F is, where that is a bass clef, and it is part of the music staff. So that, of course, helps the musician know what type of pitch to use and how to play it. Um, on the bottom, there is a, another way of uh, different symbols and different lettering that helps people remember uh, which type of symbol, what type of letter should I use to create music.
The Pythagorean Theory System one of the most popular uh, theory systems that was used in music and the creation of music uh, starting back towards the Greek times. Uh, the Pythagorean tuning is a system of musical tuning in which the frequency ratios of all integrals are based on a ratio of 3-2. This ratio is also known as the pure perfect fifth. It's chosen because it is one of the most consonant and easiest to tune by ear and because of importance attributed to the integer of three. So as you see on the right, uh, you can see the intervals on the top. Usually those are the keys, you know, key uh, 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 A1, A5, A2. And as you can see, as it goes down, there's a different types of intervals and different type of uh, pitch sounds that they use to learn how to uh, find the sound that used to make music. Um, on the left hand side, what it says, uh, all the symbols and from uh you can see some of the symbols that we talked about before f c g d a b uh and you got some f with the uh some of the accidentals that's on there also so this is a chart that is used to describe how each sound is and also how to find a specific sound but that but as they stated the three two ratio is actually the perfect sound that they was able to uh find so thank you for uh, watching my presentation and I hope you uh, gain some knowledge of it.